See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Ben, how excited are you to be heading off to the stoop? Uh, yeah, really, really excited. The boys working really hard today. Uh, first day back, so it's really good to be back into it. Um, looking just to build on from last week, really. And obviously last week, winning the group again in style, that must just give you plenty of confidence. Oh, yeah, it's brilliant being able to win it again. Uh, we won it last year and the uh, previous year, and especially at King's Home Car. No better place to play at King's Home, so it's good to win it there. Bit of pressure to do it three years in a row, though? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of pressure, but there's something as a rugby player, you always want to stand up in the big moments, show coaches what you can do, and show other players around you what you can do, really. So, yes, the pressure's good. I suppose, though, there must just be plenty of belief in the squad when you've got Steph Reynolds outside you. Yeah, he's exceptional, isn't he? Nothing, no one out there really faster than him at the moment. So, yeah, we'll look to give him the ball and see what we can do. Change at fly half, obviously, Lloyd Evans rolled his ankle. Matt Prothero comes in, I mean, another quality replacement. Oh, yeah, he can't, it's not a better replacement, really. Uh, played with Prov at Hartbury, and he's exceptional as well. Can do anything out of anything, really. So, do anything that you want him to. How much do you enjoy Sevens as a showcase for your talents, obviously young and trying to make your way in the game? Yeah, Sevens is uh, an extraordinary thing. It's uh, a lot faster game, uh, pretty hard on the lungs, but you get a lot more time on the ball, so you can do a lot more with your skills and everything. So, yes, yeah, a lot better than 15s in that respect, really, just to show the coaches what you can do again. Harlequins in the quarterfinals, they've got home advantage. They're going to have the crowd on their side. Are you ready for that? Yeah, we're definitely ready for that. Um, again, Harlequins will look to build on the atmosphere that they've got, uh, just like we did last week at Kingston. But we'll take that into our hands and see what we can do. How much homework do you do on opponents at this stage? Uh, at, this, at this point, we've done a little bit of a homework on Harlequins, look back at their games. Um, however, we're just trying to focus on ourselves and see what we can do again. Just hope that we can prove to the, the supporters what we can do. I suppose the best way to defend in sevens is not to give the ball away, just ensure you've got possession, isn't it? Yeah, as long as you do the restarts, if you restart, try and get the ball back as much as possible. If you've got the ball the longest, then yeah, you're always going to win the game. How much talk do you get outside you, just sort of the more experienced heads sort of talking you through the game? Yeah, with the likes of Mark Atkinson and uh, Gareth Evans, boys who played in that premiership, they do talk a lot and just try and help you through it, and that talk helps you a lot, just keeps you nice and calm and there's no pressure on you. And after Harlequins, it's either going to be Dragons or Sale, whichever way uh, the, get, the games end up. Um, I mean, thoughts on them? Have, have you looked ahead, as far ahead as that yet? No, we'll just take one, one game at a time and just see where we go from there.